welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video y'all i'm so excited for this video because it's a fall vlog it is october which means i'm finally accepting the change of the season the change of the season and you know i think i struggle especially this year accepting fall because then i know it's about to be thanksgiving and christmas and then i'm going to have a one-year-old and i just like how is it going to be one year so i haven't wanted it to be fall because i don't want to have a one-year-old is that crazy but it is fall i have a pumpkin and everything grab a cup of coffee get under a cozy blanket and enjoy this video outside so I just did it here on the kitchen counter and it actually worked out so well it was much easier just holding her and stomping her little foot and I think we got some good prints this might be the best print but that one's pretty good I think all of these are really good so we definitely got one I don't know if you remember the vlog where I did this in the clay that one was really easy as well and you can already see her foot her foot has gotten bigger since I did this one. So I'm so glad that I'm taking the time to do these little crafts. That way I can just remember all these fun seasons with her. That was fun. I'm gonna let them dry and hopefully I can get that little craft finished during her nap today. This little craft is turning out so cute. Right now I'm trying to decide which way I wanna glue the feathers down. If I want it to be straight on like this one or more of a side profile and then gluing like a little beak on. I think they both could be so cute. I just can't decide which one I wanna do to put in the frame. I have so many feet prints. So I technically could do half and half and then go from there. Maybe that's what I'll do. Maybe I'll do some this way and some that way. <laughs> it's a good bit later and holy moly, I am a hot mess. We have just been rolling around on the ground playing for a while and I didn't realize how crazy my hair got until right now. We are about to decorate our house for fall and I keep it really simple. I just have some pumpkins. I really don't remember everything I have in my fall box, but we keep it pretty simple. Throw some pumpkins on the counter and call it a day. We're going to do that really quick. Yep, we're going to throw some pumpkins around the house. It's going to be so fun and so cute promise I have made to myself this year is I'm not going to buy any fall decor. Now, I mean, I did spend money on the pumpkin to do like the little baby craft, but when it comes to like actual like things from Target and Home Goods, I was not going to buy anything and I haven't bought anything yet. I'm going to use all the stuff I have from last year and the year before. I've slowly been collecting and honestly, like I have plenty. I don't love too many things. Maybe this will encourage you not to buy anything this year. Take it as a challenge to use what you have or to even get creative and see if you can find any cool leaves outside and put them in a picture frame you already have to make it fall vibes or bring in some sticks and put them in a vase and make it fall vibes. So if you do that challenge, leave a comment and let me know. And just ignore my hair and my outfit I was nursing. Let's see what we have.
but yeah. And it's so funny, as soon as I started this clip, Matt is cooking a steak. So that is what that noise is. But we have just had the best fall day and a half. Um, we finished her little footprint turkey craft and it turned out so cute. And we also did the pumpkin craft where I cut out a pumpkin and I sat her in it. And oh my goodness, that was so much fun doing that. And his photos are so cute. I've already printed the photos out and have them all around my house. Tonight's also a really exciting night because some friends are gonna come over and we're gonna have a game night. So I'm gonna bake a sweet treat to have while we're just hanging out. And I'm think I'm gonna do the Simple Meals pumpkin bread. This is what I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make the pumpkin bread version instead of the muffin. And I do a few things different than what this tells you to do. So I will show you. It's really easy because all you need is eggs and water and oil. It's very simple. But I do add a little bit of maple syrup um a pumpkin pie spice mix thingy that i made and some vanilla extract that really spices it up a little bit Ooh, and chocolate chips of course you have to add chocolate chips i like that one because she's looking at the I don't want to see it too long. Well. the last thing I filmed was showing you how the turkey footprint came out or the pumpkin or both. I don't remember exactly the last clip I filmed, but that's because I had to take a little break because my sister had her baby. And so the last few days have been so much fun and I have been going up to the hospital, helping any way that I can. And I'm just so happy that my niece is here and she's beautiful and perfect and healthy and my sister's healthy and it's just been a really exciting time in the family but back to the fall vibes and getting in the fall spirit there's one last thing i want to do for my house and i really want to share it with y'all because it's something i'm very passionate about it's making a candle i wanted to show y'all how to make candles because if you know me you know i'm really big on just non-toxic living and i love candles i love the atmosphere that candles create but most candles are just so bad to burn, especially around babies. They don't want, I don't want to be breathing in the chemicals. I don't want my daughter. You can use any kind of wax. I personally use beeswax, 100% pure organic beeswax. And you can get you a little candle making kit. I'll open this up in a second. And then all you need besides the wax is essential oils. I'm using this Nature Package brand. Um, this is an amazing brand. They are, you can see right here, it's 100% essential oils. Sometimes essential oils will have other things in it. So you need to make sure that you look at the ingredient list. You can buy just the candle wicks by themselves, but I really would recommend getting a kit that comes with this and the wicks because melting your wax in this makes cleanup so much easier rather than like melting it in one of your own pots and then having to clean the wax up out of the pot. You get it. So all we do is put wax in here, melt, pour, done. So easy. It won't take long for this wax to melt. So while that's melting, I am gonna go ahead and put my wicks in my bowl. For a bowl this size, I'm gonna add two wicks. Um, you can never have too many wicks, honestly. No, I'm gonna do three wicks because it gets pretty wide up here.
Alrighty, it is the next day and our candle is ready. It is dry enough to go ahead and cut the wicks. Also, just, I don't know what happened to my shirt. Please excuse that. Um, the vlog must go on, but our candle has hardened so we can take off all of our little thingies. I think she turned out so cute. All you do now is trim the wicks. Trim. And there you have it. A cutie little non-toxic homemade candle. I love it. I'm so glad I made time to do that. I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog here. If you made it this far, seriously, thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. I have just so much fun making these videos and who knows, maybe one of these days my channel will pop off and I could actually do this for a job. That is a dream, that would be so much fun. But thank you for watching. <laughs> subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll see y'all in the next video, bye.